Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. On this channel we talk about the latest hot topics around DAS, Nerdio, Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows Switches 5, Intune, Entro ID and much much more. Today I'm going to explore with you my favourite way of deploying applications onto Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows Switches 5 session hosts and images. We're going to explore Winget. So what exactly is Winget? Well, Winget is a package manager for Windows and it's got everyone talking about its potential impact on the way that we manage software deployment for session hosts and also images. So let's talk about the challenges faced with previous package management options on Windows. They were just not cutting it anymore, right? And there's a clear need for a more robust solution to make the process smoother and more efficient. Intune and Config Manager are great, but they can be complicated to manage and can be slow to deliver applications to end users, images and session hosts. Now, let's explore the exciting features of Winget. So from its user-friendly command line interface to its seamless compatibility with various packages formats, Winget is designed to make software installation and updates a complete breeze. And here's the reason why I love it so much. Winget simplifies the entire process of managing software on Windows. It's an absolute game changer. So say goodbye to complicated installations, image management and updates, all thanks to Winget. I've been recommending Winget and package managers like Chocolaty to my customers because they're so easy to use and so, so, so powerful. They make image management and application deployment an absolute breeze. So when combined with Nerdio, it's an extremely powerful solution. Also, as they are command line based, it makes it ridiculously easy to completely automate your image management update process using Winget, something I've done on many, many deployments. So in summary, Winget offers a huge advantages and has the potential to revolutionize the Windows ecosystem. It's a tool that's here to stay and make our lives easier in the tech world. Now, here's your call to action. I encourage you to give Winget a try and share your experiences with me in the comment section below. So let's explore this new tool together and see how it can really enhance your application deployment and automated image management solution for Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Windows 365 or any other solution. So what are you waiting for? Let's dive into the world of Winget. Let's embrace the future of software management together. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for weekly updates from myself. Thanks for watching. So let's talk how we can actually get hold of Winget. So by default, Winget is actually um, installed in Windows 11. Um, and it was installed by default in Windows 10 version 1909 onwards. So if you have any version earlier than that, then you need to um, manually install it. So once you've got your Windows 11 machine up and running, Let's do a quick check to see whether Winget is actually installed. So the command to run this is winget slash slash info. Okay, so if we run that, um, we can see it's actually saying Windows Package Manager. So essentially, that's what Winget is. Um, so we can see here I'm running a preview version, um, which is a very latest version. I'll put the downloads link that below. Um, and then I'm at version 1.9. Okay, so if you ever want to see whether Winget's working properly or whether it's installed on the system, just run Winget info and that will give you what version you're running. And also, obviously, running that will make sure that it's installed properly. Okay, so now that we've got Winget installed, let's actually go and install something, right? See how easy this is. So we can do this from the command line, right? So if I go to Winget install, okay. And then let's use VS Code as an example, right? So I'm just going to go VS Code, click Enter. Okay, so what's that actually doing? That's actually connecting to this URL. It'll download that and then it will install it for us. Okay, so start your package install. Extracting the files. There you go. Simple as that. Okay, so if you think about what you can do with this, you could like literally put this into your, I don't know, your Terraform scripts, your DevOps scripts, um, your deployment scripts, whatever you want. It's just a really good way of deploying applications. Um, and then let's just double check that's actually installed um, and we can run that. Yep, so there we go. Okay, so that's VS Code and um, installed directly from the command line using Winget. So let's now have a look and see which applications we've got installed on my machine. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go Winget list. So this is all the applications installed on this desktop, um, which Winget knows about, and therefore Winget can manage those applications, right? So um, we can see here we've got Edge, we've got Amazon X Hero, we've got Cortana, um, we've got Power Automate. So um, again, a good way of taking an inventory of what software is installed um, on the machine from the command line. 
Um, so next we'll actually see how we can actually go and update all those, all those applications. All right, so let's see how we can now update all those applications on this uh, desktop PC. So if I wanted to do this manually, right, I'd have to get a list of all the applications and then have to go and check one by one on the vendor's website to see which applications are actually uh, updates are available and then download them and then install them, okay? But here, I'm going to just do it in one single command line, right? So we're going to type in winget upgrade all, okay? So let's see what this does. So it's telling me these four upgrades available, which doesn't surprise me because this is a freshly built workstation. And then it's just going to go away and install all those updates for me. Okay. So again, if you were doing this within your um, sort of update codes uh, via Nerdio, via um, any method you choose to, um, it would just run this automatically. So you could set this to go on a recurring schedule like every week, every month, whatever you want. Um, and then this will go and just install those application updates um, automatically. Pretty cool, right? Very, very, very powerful um, because this is a completely automated way of keeping everything that you need to um, up to date. So you can see from here, it basically says we're updating VS Code um, and we're updating Windows Terminal and it tells you uh, the version that it's got installed and then the version that it's got available um, as well. All right, so let's now explore the, the search functionality. Um, so obviously this is searching across the Windows Store. Um, so for some applications which have already been made available. So let's imagine a scenario where we're trying to install a browser, right? So um, let's see what kind of browsers we can search for. So we're going to do Winget Search Browser. Okay, and it's going to bring me back a list of all the browsers which it's got within its um, sort of database. So let's pick Firefox as an example. So we've got um, Firefox here. Okay, so I'm actually going to install Firefox. So let's go for Winget install Firefox. Maybe that's not the name, or is it? Multiple packages you found. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the one below. So winget install. So the differences are you see the nine, so that means that one's held within the Microsoft Store. So that'll be the link directly from the Microsoft Store. And the second one, the winget one, and that'll probably be just a link to um the, the file within Mozilla's website. So let's pick this one. So I'm gonna pick this one. So easy. And then we get stop. Maybe not. Okay. So we can get install and then Mozilla dot Firefox. Okay. So that's downloading it directly from Mozilla. Okay. It's going to download the very latest version as well. So it's verified the hash. And it's now doing an install. So again, let's go and have a quick look. I now have uh, Firefox installed, so I can do a search for Firefox. And there we are. We are now running a very latest version of Firefox. Okay, so there you have it, some very basics of Winget. As you can see, it's extremely powerful. It enables us to do everything by code. So if you combine this, as mentioned previous times, with, like, with DevOps, with Nerdio, um, with anything that supports sort of command line installation and deployments, it can be extremely powerful because it means I can literally just script out my whole deployments. I can automate my update method of my images, my session hosts, physical workstations, whatever you want. But the beauty is it just doesn't support like stuff within the um, Windows Store or connected to third parties, but you can actually use your own applications with it as well. So um, if you've got a custom MSI file or a custom MSX file that you've packaged up, you can also deliver that using Winget by creating a private Winget repo. I'll do another video on creating a private Winget repo um, using Nerdio, um, but for now, I just wanted to show you the basics of what Winget is capable of doing. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.